5 Facts About Moses That Are Not Commonly Publicized In popular culture, the biblical prophet Moses is shown as the liberator of the Jewish people from the captivity of the Egyptian pharaoh. Moses is revered by Jews, Christians, and Muslims. In Judaism, he is the most important of the prophets. But there are five facts that allow us to look at Moses differently. 1. Moses is a violent prophet. To see how cruel Moses was, one only has to open chapter 32 of Exodus 2 of the Bible, where it is written how Moses had 3,000 of his tribesmen killed simply because they worshipped a golden calf while waiting for Moses on Mount Sinai. And Moses didn't touch the creator of the golden calf, because he was his older brother Aaron. That is, you can take out the strangers, but not your own brother, whose guilt of idolatry is much more significant. An obvious manifestation of nepotism. 2. Moses committed genocide. Moses committed genocide against the Midianites. They were a nomadic people in the Sinai Peninsula. First they exterminated all the men and kings of the Midianites, then Moses wanted to take the lives of all the Midianites at all except the girls, so kill all the male children, and kill all the women who have known a husband in a man's bed, and all the female children who have not known a man's bed, keep alive for yourselves. Numbers 31:17-18. 3. Non-Moses Law. Since the discovery of the ancient Near Eastern codices, the view of the authorship of the Torah laws has changed greatly. It became known that the famous Ten Commandments, which the God Yahweh gave to Moses, were modeled after Hittite and Mesopotamian laws. Also, the laws governing social life seem to have been rewritten straight from Hammurabi's Code of Hammurabi of the 18th century BC. By comparison, Exodus 21 verse 28 If a bull gore a man or woman to death, the bull must be stoned, and his meat must not be eaten. But the owner of the bull shall not be held responsible. Law 250 If a bull in his walk gored a man and killed him, the case has no cause of action. 4. Moses is not the author of the Mosaic Pentateuch. Jews, Christians, and Muslims believe that Moses wrote the Torah, known as the Pentateuch. But this is not true. According to biblical dating, Moses lived about 120 years between the 15th and 13th century BC. However, the text of the Torah was not just written by different authors, but was composed in the centuries after Moses' supposed life. The Torah consists of five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. All books were written at different times and are compilations of different sources. Scholars suggest that the Pentateuch began to be formed around the 7th century and was completed between the 6th and 4th centuries BC. 5. Moses is a myth. Today most scholars believe that no Moses existed. There is no mention of any Moses in ancient Egyptian sources. Nor has any evidence been found of the exodus of the Jews from Egypt in the Sinai Desert. Perhaps Moses was a collective image or legendary hero whose image was superimposed on some liberator of a group of Jews. This man was a true cultural hero and was credited with international events, as if he had fought with various nations, communicated with God and given the Jews the law.